I made this bagpipe brooch for our friend Dave. I used a little diagram, my artistic wire, and my tools. And I started with a piece of 20 gauge wire and at one end I just formed a little loop with my round pliers. This is going to be the chanter, the little stick that hangs down and we're going to just form a loop and put on a bead. And you'll see later I actually removed the bead. I changed my mind about the design and now we're going to bring it around with our round pliers, curve it with your finger, and we're going to hold it on the diagram and form the blow stick. So we'll bend it up, straighten out the wire, and then at the end, we'll get our flat pliers and bend it back. And from there, I decided to get my round pliers and form a little loop at the top. This design was very improvised. I kind of made it up as I went along. So we formed a little loop. And then we're actually going to bend it back down. And we're going to do several of these sticks to form the drones. And to form the little tuning sliders on the drones, we just hold it with the flat pliers and wind the wire around just to give the impression of those little separations on the drone stick. So we're going to keep going with this, follow the diagram and do starting with the base drone and then we're going to do the other drones after that. So we're just going to hold it against the diagram to measure the length of everything. And then with the uh, flat pliers, we'll do the little connections and then we're going to bring it around. After all of these are done, just adjust them as you need and put it back on the diagram to form the bag. Using my round pliers, bringing it around, always comparing it to your template. It's okay if it's not perfect and we will form it around curving it with your finger to form the bag. So after that I actually decided to remove the bead and I'm going to go another route with it. So we're going to bend this wire and we want to attach the two wires together Sometimes I help it with my pliers so it won't slip and give it a little tug and then we'll clip that little end. So we just have the one wire sticking down that will be the chanter and we'll measure it and I'll bend the end and I'm just going to do a little loop on the end to finish it off. We just need to finish that end and then we'll clip it off. Remove the end and then we'll just use our flat pliers so there's no pokey ends. So that's our basic shape for the bagpipe and then we're going to attach a pin. I have these stainless steel pins in my Etsy DIY shop. I actually bought a lifetime supply of them about 30 years ago. So if you need pins for wire making, these are much better than the bar pins because they're much more discreet. So I'm just going to wind the wire around. If I was to make this again, I might actually attach it with the same wire I made the bagpipe with. But like I said, I'm just improvising this design as I go around. So we're just going to wind enough wire around to secure that pin in place. And this is a nice solid stainless steel pin form that I had custom made for me uh, in China many years ago. So I have lots of those left. So we're just going to keep going around with the wire. I'm twisting it around the little hook part of the pin so it won't rotate and twist. And then now I'm adding 24 
gauge wire to form the plaid. Now the plaid is not super accurate. I just was winging it, adding lines of the colored wire in different colors. So I'm starting with the red. I'm just basically doing a very basic weave back and forth, keeping it open. And then I'm going to add some green as well and just slide it through the red going the other direction and we will just wind it back and forth pretty loosely because we're going to add some other colors too. So just bring it back and forth. You don't need a lot of wire, maybe about 12 to 15 inches and then I'm going to get some blue and wind the blue wire in there. These colors are beautiful. This is artistic wire from Beadalon. And I'll just keep adding them till I'm happy with it. I can wind it around the bottom part of the bag there. And then pull it with your pliers if you're having trouble tightening it up. And clip the end. And now I'm going to add some gold in there. Bring it around just to give it a little bit of a interest. And the 24 gauge is a good size for this. So now what I'm doing is I'm getting four pieces of the 24 gauge wire and twisting them together. I'm going to be making now the drone cord. So we're twisting it, it together a little bit and then we're going to attach it to the drones so they'll hold in place. Wind it around on either side to secure it. Bring both ends around and then we're going to twist again. So holding the wires out at an equal angle, give it a little twist. And we're going to attach it to the next drone. So we'll keep going with that until we have it around all the drones. And pull it around. Give it a good little tug to secure it in place. And stretching out the wire to straighten it as you need. Pinch it if it's coming apart. Use your flat pliers if you need to pinch it a little bit more. And again, we're going to twist. So hold it with your thumb and finger, holding the wires at an equal angle, and give them a little twist to make it look like a cord. Twist as much as you need. Depends on the size of your bagpipe. Bring it around under the pin. And twist a little more if you think you're going to need more. So now we're going to just keep adjusting it. Bring the wires around to secure it on the drone and stretch them out as you need. So again, we're going to twist once it's secure there to make a little bit more of the cord. I always cut my wires a little too long. And we'll just pinch it if you need to. Do any adjusting that you need because once we get to the end we have to make a little tassel on the cord. So I'm just bending the wires back so there's no sharp ends. Just bending them at a angle. A nice sharp bend. You can use your pliers for this too if you want. So give it a good little pinch. I just use my fingernail. Sharpen up the bends with your flat pliers. 
and then I'm going to individually take the wires and twist them around. It would be harder to pull them tight if you did them all at the same time. So I'm just going to one by one take the ends of the wire, hold the tassel, and twist it around to make it nice and secure. And give it another little clip. And then with your flat pliers, you can adjust the tassels to spread them out a little bit. Pinch the end there so there's no little sharp bits. Adjust the position to make it look like it's sort of flowing. And then I also twisted some 20 gauge wire around the chanter to give it some detail. And there's your bagpipe pin. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you the next time.